In this video, we are going to see how to send WhatsApp messages from Google Sheets. Basically, let's say that you're using Google Sheets to manage your data and you want that every time a new row is added along with the information of your client. So this client should be sent a WhatsApp message. So how can you do that? By integrating these two applications and here for this integration, you can use Public Connect software. Here your trigger application would be Google Sheets and your action application would be WhatsApp, right? So how can you do this yourself and automate this entire process? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. So let us begin the process here. First, we have to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we click on enter, it will take us to the landing page of this software. Here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, simply sign in. And if you are a new user, then you will have to click on the tab sign up. It will not take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will be able to get 100 free tasks. So now since I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in. And here you can see that we have reached the all applications page. So if you are using, since we are using Pabli Connect for this integration, let's click on access now. And now we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, we can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. So here I want to send WhatsApp messages for the information stored in my Google Sheet. So I'm going to name this as Google Sheets to WhatsApp integration. Right, so let me make this S capital and now I'm going to click on create. So now we have reached this window. Here you can see two very important events, trigger and action. Triggers and actions are those two concepts or principles on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. So trigger is what makes your workflow run and action is the response to it. Now here I'm going to choose my trigger application as Google Sheets. Here it is, let's click on this. And now the trigger event. Trigger event is the event that will make your workflow start. So here you want new or updated spreadsheet row. Now let's click on this. So here you can see we have received a webhook URL. This is going to act as a bridge in connecting the two applications, Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. Here we have to follow these steps. So I'm going to first copy this down and now I'm going to take you to the spreadsheet that I've created. So this is the spreadsheet. So here the name is coffee cake order details and uh, the name of the sheet is sheet. So here we have the following column fields, name, mobile number, delivery date, delivery time, cake flavor and weight. Now. We have to set up the integration. Basically, we have to connect this application, Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So you have to go to extensions and here you will go to add-ons, then get add-ons. Now, here you can see that there is this search option. I'm going to type Pabli Connect webhooks. So this is the application that you're supposed to install. Here you can see that I've already installed it. If you haven't installed, you can do this. It will not take more than two minutes. Now I'm going to click on cross and going back to extensions. If I come down here, you can see Pabli Connect webhooks. Then you can see initial setup and then send on event. So you have to put a tick on the send on event and then go to initial setup. Now here you can see that it has already selected the sheet and here it is asking for the webhook URL. So going back to Pabli Connect, here I'm going to copy this webhook URL and then paste it here. And then here we have to uh, write the trigger column. Trigger column is basically the final data column and here you can see the final data column is F. So it has already appeared here. Now I'm going to click on send test to understand if it is sending the data. So here we can see that it is sending the data successfully. So now I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect and see if we have received the response. See here, we have received this response and once done, what do I want then? Now I want that uh, this information. So I'm going to go back to this and just submit it, okay? So once done here, I'm coming back and now I want this data to be sent 
to my client on WhatsApp. So the next application that I have to choose is WhatsApp and let's click on a WhatsApp Cloud API. Then action event here would be send template message. Let's click on connect. And here we can see that Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with WhatsApp Cloud API. So I'm going to click on add new connection and to set up this connection, it needs three things, token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. For this, I'm going to take you to Metaphor developers page and here we will go to my applications. Then you can see that I've already created a lot of applications. You can create your own app by clicking on this green tab. Now, let's say that I want to use this application, my connect message. Let's click on this. So now I'm going to click on this my message, my connect message app. And as I do that here on the left hand side, you can see WhatsApp. I'm going to click on this and then click on getting started. As soon as we do that, now here you can see that we have received the information that we needed. There is access token and then we have the phone number ID and the business account ID. Now here, if you create your workflow using this temporary access token, your workflow will stop working after the day because this will expire in 23 hours. So you will have to create a permanent access token. How would you do that? For this, a dedicated video is given in the video description. You can follow the step-by-step -step process and easily create the same. Since I'm just doing a test run, I'm going to use this temporary access token over here. So I'm going to copy this down, go back to Pabli Connect and paste it over here. Then again, we have the phone number ID and then let's paste it here and then the business account ID. And now I'm going to paste it here. Once done, here let's click on save. So now here you can see that WhatsApp Cloud API and Pabli Connect, these two applications are now connected. So here we have to select the template. Templates are basically pre-written messages that you can share with your clients and every time the variables will keep on changing like, you know, the name or the order number or the flavor and all these details. So here I'm going to take you back to my Metaphor Developers page and here in the step two, you can see to create your own message template, click here. Let's click on this. Then you can see that I already have a lot of templates created. You can create your own message template by clicking on this create message template, which is there on the right hand corner. Now I'm going to look for a template that I've already created, which is cake order. Let's click on this. And here you can see that I have selected a header, which is a text and I have written order confirmation, which means every time I receive this order and uh, like suppose my client has filled this form and through this form, the information has been received on my Google Sheet and the moment I have received it there, I should be able to send a WhatsApp message to the client confirming the order. So here the body is high and it is written, thank you for shopping with us and your order of this is confirmed. We will deliver your package by this and this. Now, what are these numbers within double curly braces? These are your variables. So whatever you write within these curly braces will keep on changing as per the response you have received through your Google Sheet. So once you have done, this is how your the message will look like order confirmation, hi, and then the name. Then here it is, thank you for shopping with us. Here you're ordered off. Now, instead of cake, you will have, you can write, you know, the cake and the flavor and maybe the weight, etc. We will deliver your package by then we have the time and the date. So this is how it will look like. You can always customize this. Now going back to Pabli Connect, here we have to select the template. So this is cake order. Let's click on this. And now we have to enter the mobile number. So here for the mobile number, we will have to map the data. Mapping basically means that we have already received this information in the previous step. We are just going to retrieve it. So going here, we have the mobile number here. It is asking us to write the mobile number with the country code. So let's write it here. Then we have to map the name. So this is the name. Then we need the cake details. So here we have the flavor and then we also have the weight. So now here is the time. So this is the time and then the body field about date. So here it is. So once done here, see, I have written a demo mobile number. So now I'm going to pause the video, put an original mobile number and then click on save and send test request so that we can receive this information. 
and here you can see that we have received the api response and at the same time we have received a message on our whatsapp with the exact template that we wanted to share with our client so here is the screenshot of the same and uh, now this basically means that this entire integration process is a complete success but we also need to check it in real time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to my google sheet and here i'm going to add another detail let's say it is test user one two three this is the name then again we have a demo mobile number and here i have the delivery date so let's say this time the delivery date is 3rd of september 2022 and then the delivery time let's say is 7 25 pm and then let's say the cake flavor is vanilla and then the weight is 5 kg so the moment i'm done with filling the information here what should happen i should receive a message on my whatsapp and here you can see the screenshot of the same which basically means that yes this entire process is a success going back to Pabli connect let's quickly understand our process so here this is a very simple two-step integration process where our trigger application was google sheets and the trigger event was new or updated spreadsheet to do action application is whatsapp cloud api and action event is sent template message in case you have any doubt you can refer to the same workflow it is there in the description box of this video and also you can clone the same workflow and start to process immediately apart from this if you have any doubt or if you have got any um you know suggestion or advice for us then you can always write to us i hope this was helpful to watch more such videos you can always subscribe to our channel which is there on youtube if you have any queries you can write to us at forum.pabli.com and if you want to know our pricing plans then you can visit us at this particular site do not forget to like share and subscribe if you have liked this video